What's up, Raptors fans? Welcome to the Warriors Report. We have a couple of updates to talk about regarding Goran Dragic and the Toronto Raptors. Now, we know it's been a really messy situation with Goran Dragic saying that he had higher ambitions. And although the Raptors did start him at the beginning of the season in their starting lineup, he has only played a handful of games this entire season and him resulting in leaving the Raptors for personal reasons. So he has not been with the team for quite some time. Whatever those personal reasons may be, you can interpret yourself. Well, let's talk about the fact that the Raptors, and this was rumors today that the Raptors go on Dragic, almost certain to be dealt before the NBA trade deadline. And this shouldn't really come as a surprise given that both of these parties have different directions they're going. And obviously, Goran Dragic wants to win a championship. And the Raptors want to focus around development of younger players surrounding Pascal and Fred Van Vliet. So let's talk about the next rumor, which was very a little bit surprising. Because Raptors finding great interest in a Goran Dragic deal before the NBA trade deadline. Sources say now this should come as a little bit of surprise. Because a lot of us Raptors fans thought that us not playing Goran Dragic may result in less teams being interested. And... Potentially a lot of teams not wanting to train for Goran Dragic considering that he has only played in limited games this season. But there's been a lot of apparently chatter around the NBA and a lot of teams could definitely use him. So for today's video, I'm going to go through six teams through both conferences in total six teams that could definitely use the services of Goran Dragic. So if you're ready to watch this video, guys, make sure to hit the like button. If you want to hit the subscribe button as well for a lot more Raptors trade deadline content, that'd be amazing. So with that being said, let's get into today's video. Now, as you guys know, I do like to give out shout outs. So for today's video, the shout out goes out to M. Howell. So M. Howell, thank you so much for supporting this channel through likes and comments. It is very much appreciated. Now, when we talk about different teams that could use Goran Dragic, we need to take into consideration the standings. Now, when you take a look at the standings, obviously Miami could technically use him. We know that deal is never going to come to fruition, though. So looking down the list of some of these teams that could definitely use him. And I know a lot of people may not be talking about them. But I could definitely see a team like the Milwaukee Bucks definitely trying to trade for Goran Dragic. Now, Goran Dragic does make around $19 million, so it is a little bit challenging for some of these teams to trade for him. But the Bucks could definitely use his services. Now, obviously, they have a lot of trouble just getting some baskets outside of, obviously, Giannis, Chris Middleton, and Drew Holiday. So I think having someone like Goran Dragic for the Milwaukee Bucks makes a lot of sense. Being that key bench player who can just give the guys, the main guys, a little bit of a break just produce some points and also he can pass as well. So I think Milwaukee Bucks is definitely one team you'd have to take into consideration that might try to trade for Goran Dragic. Now another team I could definitely see trying to trade for Goran Dragic is the Cleveland Cavaliers who have had a really surprising season and I don't think anyone, anyone, even Cavaliers fans are probably surprised by the fact that they are doing so well this season, but good for them. I could definitely see Cleveland trying to trade for Goran Dragic, especially after Ricky Rubio went down with that season-ending injury. Now, I know they have traded for Rajon Rondo, but let's be honest, Goran Dragic is a little bit better than that, and they're not using Rajon Rondo as much as you'd think they'd use him. But I could definitely see the Cavaliers trying to trade for him. And um, there's been rumors about him potentially going to the Cleveland Cavaliers and then the Cavaliers sending the Raptors Rubio. Now, I don't want to get too much into trade talks and then adding something like a first-round pick to sweeten the deal to take on that salary. But... Again, I could definitely see the Cavaliers. Now, Milwaukee Bucks, I did want to touch on the fact that I'm well aware they do have George Hill, but George Hill isn't exactly known for his point production. So that is why I think the Bucks will target him. Now, going down this list, another team I really think that could use the services of Goran Dragic would be the Atlanta Hawks. The Atlanta Hawks have a lot of pieces. They are willing to move, and I think the Raptors could use some of them again. If a trade happens, we'll have to wait and see. I don't want to go in too much into trade speculations and players. But the Atlanta Hawks obviously have Trey Young, who's a spectacular point guard, a starter in the All-Star. But he could definitely be used. Or I should say he could definitely benefit from someone like a Goran Dragic. They can play him together. They can facilitate off of each other. But just Goran Dragic being that guy that can give Trey Young a little bit of a break, right? So he can come in off the bench like a lot of contenders. Now, I know I'm not... I'm not saying the Atlanta Hawks are contenders, but it looks like they're trying to make a push for the playoffs and really trying to get into the play-in, right? So I think the Atlanta Hawks are another team you have to keep your eye on. And I'm going to give you a dark horse here. Now, I know people may not think this team will try to acquire him just because they have Kyrie Irving and Patty Mills, but Brooklyn Nets is another team I would really keep your eye on. The Again, the challenging part for the Brooklyn Nets would be how are they going to move $19 million dollars towards the Raptors way or at least 18 million dollars that's going to be the challenging part which is why I don't think 
a deal will happen there. It'd have to be a three-team deal. But Brooklyn Nets are another team, especially given the fact that the whole Kyrie situation, and depending on which playoff teams and the restrictions that City has, he may not even be able to play. He's obviously not able to play home games, and then he may not even be able to play on the road as well. So that is one team, a dark horse team. You definitely want to keep your eye on in terms of which team may be looking to acquire Goran Dragic. Now let's move over to the Western Conference and which team I think could definitely use Goran Dragic. Now when you take a look at the Western Conference, no one's really talking about this team, but his former team, the Phoenix Suns, could definitely really, really use Goran Dragic. I honestly think he would be a perfect fit with Goran Dragic being on the Phoenix Suns. Now I know they have Cameron Payne, obviously they have the point guard and Chris Paul, but you never know with injuries and just, again, Goran Dragic would be a perfect, perfect bench player for a lot of contenders. And I really, truly believe Phoenix Suns would probably benefit the most out of all of the teams I have mentioned in terms of what he would give them. He's obviously familiar with their city. He's been there before he was on their team. And I think he'd be really well on that team. So Phoenix Suns are a team I would definitely keep an eye on in the Western Conference. And then going down the road, obviously, you have your Dallas Mavericks as well. Now, we know the Luka, Doncic, Goran Dragic... um, you know, they have that relationship. So Dallas Mavericks has been mentioned several times, but another team that a lot of teams may not think, a lot of people may not think this team has a chance of getting Goran Dragic, the Los Angeles Lakers. I know they don't have a lot of assets that they could give to the Raptors for a Goran Dragic, but perhaps a deal could get done there. Again, it probably have to be a three-team deal where another team is facilitating the salary a little bit and providing a little bit more assets than what the Los Angeles Lakers have to offer. But I could definitely see the Lakers trying to acquire someone like a Goran Dragic. They're obviously trying to acquire players and they don't have the assets to do that. So we'll wait and see to see how the Los Angeles Lakers could potentially move pieces around to acquire someone like a Goran Dragic. But those are my teams, I believe. Those are my teams that I think that the Raptors could potentially become trading partners with. Again, it becomes a little bit challenging when you talk about money and the situation there. But just some of the teams that could definitely use Goran Dragic. Now, another team I want to mention here, again, a dark horse. I don't see them acquiring Goran Dragic, but another team I would really see here would be the Utah Jazz. Now, I know they have Donovan Mitchell. They have Mike Conley. They have two point guards. They start, and they have, of course, a really good bench and um, Jordan Clarkson as well. But Goran Dragic, if they decide to go all out this season and try to acquire him, I think he would be perfect along that superior bench they have. They have one of the nicer benches in the NBA. So I think Utah Jazz would be a dark horse for me if I were to pick one in the Western Conference. So I think that team makes a lot of sense for the, I mean, makes a lot of sense for Goran Dragic, but we'll wait and see. But I do want to hear from you guys. Which teams do you think could use the services of a Goran Dragic? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. And also let me know, do you agree with some of these teams that I have mentioned? So let me know all of your thoughts down below. And I do have a trivia question for you guys today. Now, this trivia question is very, very tricky. And whoever answers this trivia question correctly first in the comment section gets a shout out in my next video. So in 2015, Goran Dragic was traded to the Miami Heat in a three-team trade. Which of these players were not involved in that trade? Was it A, Danny Granger? Was it B, John Salmons, former Raptor? Was it C, Justin Hamilton? Or was it D, Luol Dang. So whoever answers this trivia question again in the comment section first gets a shout out in my next video. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you guys have yourselves a great day.